<laughs> All right, Shalom. Shalom. No, first and foremost, we're going to give all praises, and honor, and glory due to Yahweh. Giving double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS for teaching us his knowledge. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the hopeful elect Akim out there throughout the four corners of the earth pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom. 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 And through the spirit, the Lord has allowed us to link up tonight. Hey, and, and, and um, as we titled the video, then shall they know that a prophet have been amongst them, man, because we've been out there telling these people the prophecies, which prophecy means to say before, which you've been telling these people um, what the what the Lord has spoken, and it's actually coming to pass, man. Or it's about to come to pass. And we uh, uh, starting with our apostles on down to younger men such as ourselves, we've been telling them that a hey, all hell about to break loose. Esau is the is your enemy. We have a common enemy that people think is their friend. Hey, one of y'all brothers grab that real quick and um um. I think it's in, uh, is it Sarah? Never trust thy enemy? Yeah, come on. Okay, got you real quick. Hey, because we have an enemy, man, that, oh, seeks to to, that seeks to destroy us, that seeks to devour us. Right. And that's why our power told us to come back to him because he's about to take this man out of power, man. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And, but, but what Jake doing, man? Jake bullshitting. Mm -hmm. So they're going to find out the hard way that this man is, is, is your enemy, man. But those um, that have an ear, they're they going to hear what the Spirit is saying, which is the elect, the 144,000, the one-third that consists of women, children, and multiple believers. They're going to hear the words of the Lord and come back, man. That's it, it bro. The, the Lord said, um, um, bless, bless are ye that believe for yours is the kingdom of heaven, man. And Lord willing, Lord willing, we some of those men. You know, starting with the apostles and elders on down, man, because we're hearing, seeing, and believing what was what was um spoken hey, even before we was created, man. <laughs> we living out prophecies, man. We believe in, in the Bible. We believe in the, on the Son of Man. It's amazing, bro. You got yeah. it. <clears throat> this is the book of uh, Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes oh, you got it, 12 and 10. Never trust thine enemy. Never trust uh, thine enemy. We have a we have a common enemy that the most high has set up to be our enemy. A lot. Who seeks to destroy us, man? This man, and he poisons the food. He poisons the air we that we breathe. He poisons the water that we drink. He try and pollute and poison our minds so we will we'll be disconnected from our power with all the wickedness that he put before us. We have an enemy who seeks to destroy us, man. Who wants us to go off from our power, man. That's why the Lord say, come back before it's too late. Because hey, Esau is about to hey, Esau is about to roll, man. And if you ain't, if you ain't got this truth, if you haven't came back to the Lord and believed on Him and changed your ways and, and repented, you're gonna get caught up in all that. That's that's coming, man. I.e. the martial law, concentration camps, famine, lack of food, lack of water. You know, um, shit. You name it, man. Pestilence, kind, all types of death and destruction that's coming, man. Because the Lord ain't playing. The Lord ain't playing no games, man. You got it, Kayan. And, 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 and if I can say real quick, he's going to use this man as his whooping stick, which he, he, on the scriptures say Esau is the rod. The sword of the Lord. Yeah, kind. Psalm 17. That's right, brother. You got it, Kayan. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 12. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. 
You keep going. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as thou hast white looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust has not been altogether wiped away. <laughs> yeah, because this man is the devil, man. And here come up humble. Mm -hmm. and, and, and look what he did to Gad. Came up humble, made all them treaties, kept not one. Gay gay Gad a hug, but behind him he had the sword. Right. Gave him the blankets and the hats on small parts on it. Kind pestilence, man. And what you think he 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 what you think this man that got that perpetual hate? What you think he gonna do in, in this damn time, man? Keep the slave. Kind. And the scriptures um um get into that. Um one of y'all brothers can get on um, real quick. Um get um Amos um chapter um is it chapter two or chapter one? Damn, going on. Speaking yeah. about that perpetual, yeah, yeah, kind. This is Amos 1 and 11. Thus saith the Lord for three transgressions of Edom, and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword. He did pursue his brother with the sword, man. Gad, hey, Jake, the Atlantic slave trade, hey, hey, all the Israelites caught it under this man. You know, and, and, and um, this man hates you Israelites, man. He poisoned everything, man. He see, he want us to get cancer and die. And if it wasn't for the Lord um, protecting us, we all would have been dead, man. For all this poisonous food, the air we breathe. Hey, hey, hey taking a bath, man. All those heavy metals and different things. Hey, that get on our skin. That's that if it messes us up, man. Radiation. Radiation kind. 5G, internet, all this shit. Can't forget about them 5G towers, man. And all that stuff be um, frying our brain. A hey, fluoride in the toothpaste, uh -huh. lead in the water. Not only that, earlier, um, uh, poison in the water, it calcifies that uh, PNP now. Yeah. Land. Uh -huh. There it is. Um, it says, and he did because he did pursue his brother with a sword, he did cast off our pity, and his anger did tear perpetually and kept his wrath forever. Mm. Verse 12 But I will send fire upon Timon, which shall devour the palaces of Bosra, which Bosra is the chief city of Edom, man, right? And the Timonites. Hey, as the Paul say, hey, the Germans, they could have the wisest one of the, the Edomites, man. Mm -hmm. What the truth said, no wisdom in Timon, because we know that the most high revealing this devil, as he said, he would, right? And by the by the uh, spirit of his mouth. And as the scriptures say, the Lord gonna return and destroy him at the brightness of his coming. Mm -hmm. And we've been warning our people of these things, hey, the coming of the day of the Lord. That's really the biggest thing that's on the horizon. Hey, mm -hmm. um, Vic of Trouble. Hey, which is going to be a consist of various things, martial law, lack of bread, the economy crashing, which is going to lead into more great uprising and lawlessness. And what Esau is going to do, because they already know the wicked elite already have an enterprise where they're trying to conspire against Jake primarily, which is going to lead to what? The MOTB. And ultimately what? And we know World War Three is on the horizon because these things were prophesied, man. And that's going to lead to the return of our Lord. Right. And we're going to have to endure these things, as the scriptures say, he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved, man. Yep. And, and the prophets warn you. And we getting the blood off our hands. The Lord said what? A blow ye the trumpet in Zion. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be an excuse for, oh, I don't know what the MOTV is. Hey, 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 when the Lord stretched out his hand, what the scriptures say? They despise it. They said it not all his counsel. He, they wanted none of his reproof. And that's what the Lord said. Our apostle elders up and down to younger brothers like ourselves to warn our people. Hey, hey, just like you, you said you wanted Jeremiah 28 and 8. You wanted hey, brother, brother, yeah. Hey, brother. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> you got it on corner wall? Well, yeah, I was already right on it. You got it. I got it. This is it. This, this, this is Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Corner wall got it, bro. Okay, come. This is Jeremiah 28 and verse 7. It says, Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thine ears and in the ears of all the people. Mm. <laughs> it, ain't gonna be, it ain't gonna be no excuses, bro. Yeah, the Lord say, Hear this word that I speak in the ears of all the people, man. He pour his spirit upon all, all flesh. flesh. Yep. Yep. This word, hey, uh, uh, Matthew, this word yeah. shall go out throughout the whole four corners of the earth. This shall the income. Yep, yep. It ain't gonna be no excuse. It, it, it shouldn't even be a surprise. Well, it ain't even gonna be a surprise to us, Lord, when we part of the elect and then we endure. Yep. Because hey, the most high has been um bashing this in our head. Yep. And just like in the time of Noah's Ark, it wasn't a surprise when it started raining because the Lord already warned Noah. And Noah was out there warning the people. So it was bashing mm -hmm. his head that, okay, the rain is going to come. And preparing himself. Right. Because he yep. listened to the Lord. I did tell you that in um, Hebrews 11 chapter. It said, uh, <clears throat> because he moved with fear, prepare, prepare himself their art for the saving of his home. You know? Kind. But yeah, I, that's right, brother. And that arc was big. That arc, it said that arc was big as hell. I forgot mm -hmm. what they um, you know, they, they equated to be like. Mm -hmm. They said it was it was huge, man. It had to be to, to bring two of every pair of animal on it. And it was two of unclean and seven of the clean, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, don't they still have like a, 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 a um Mount Ariat? Yeah, where where it's supposedly supposed to um, yeah. stop that? Yeah, it kind. Like it still got evidence of, of of it over there. I think it was. I think it the the um scholars said yeah they found evidence of it. Mm -hmm. I know they have found chariots in in, in the um Red from Sea from Egypt. You got it though, brother. This is um verse eight. It says the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old. Prophesy both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And that's what we do, man. And starting with the apostles and elders on down, man. And even the apostles, um, elders and apostles. So it ain't gonna be no excuse that I didn't know or hey, the scriptures say I'm um, pushing that off from day to day. You know, make no tarry and turn to the Lord, man. And a lot of people do that. A lot of people tarry, uh, oh, I just do it. I, you know, I ain't ready. Like that nigga that came up to the camp that said he wasn't ready to stop eating swine. Mm -hmm. You know? Or that, or that girl that um, um said she like taking it in her rectum so much that she can't even, she can't even stop doing that shit, man. So she rather, you know, these people rather be destroyed in their lust Instead of stop doing the things that the most high say stop doing, which can save you, man. That shit, that shit crazy, man. Hey, that's scary, man. Which the most high could have could have had a spirit on all of us to, to feel that way. That's why it's such a blessing to be a part of this troop and, and to be doing what we're doing right now. And, and the most high allowing us to repent, man. Mm -hmm. Hey. So Lord willing, we um save our souls, man. The Lord will save us. Okay. That was it on it was some more on that, brother. Yeah, you said you wanted to do verse nine, right? Yeah, kind. This is verse nine. It says, The prophet which prophesieth of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord Yahweh have truly sent him. Right. And a lot of people are gonna be um and, and they they gonna be they gonna be fucked up in that day, man. Right. They're gonna wish they came back to the Lord. They're gonna try and repent. And what the what the Lord what the scripture say the Lord say, he gonna say, um, um you work ye work in that iniquity, yeah. And I know you. And also the scripture say, um, 
because the victual shall be so good and cheap upon earth that they should think themselves to be in good case. But even then, shall evils go on for the earth and um, right. to break confusion, man. And that's what's happening. Hey, with all these different distractions, shit that don't matter on the news, there's so many other important things according to biblical prophecy, but majority of people don't see it. That's why the scripture say that the day of the Lord should come as what? As a thief mm -hmm. in the night. Mm -hmm. Right? Hey, I, 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 Matthew said that the Lord gonna come upon that servant the day he look him not for. Why mm -hmm. don't you, they're not watching and they're not praying, man. They're not hearkening to the, the voice of the Lord because it's really the Lord that's speaking through his men. Got mm -hmm. it. That was it that was, on that. Yeah, that was it on that. I got a precept though. Yeah, my, kind of. Uh, and, and you, you had something? Yeah, I was just waiting till the brother got finished up. You got it up. All right, kind. This is Second Ezra chapter nine and verse nine. It says, "Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways." And the scriptures say um, in Proverbs 8, blessed are they that keep my ways. Uh -huh. sure. Only the whole full elect is going to abide and to the best of their ability, going to consider, come back, repent, and put it in action, man, and be like wholeheartedly in a repentive type mind frame, a repentive spirit, right? And we sound like a, we sound like a broken record, bro. <laughs> They're saying the same thing over and over. These same scriptures come out all the time, bro. <laughs> it ain't gonna be no excuses in that day, man. Hey, just hey, hey, a hey, repetition is the father's skill, man. As a possible bar always say, hey, to hear it over and over and over and over again, man. Hey, this this actually sharpen sharpens us, man, so that we won't um make keep making those same mistakes, which we're gonna go off. But knowing that the most high gonna fuck up um people that, that live in sin and keep doing that shit, right. it's it snaps us back and, and, and like I can't keep doing that. Hell no. Nah. Mm -hmm. Right. Hey, I can't stop doing this work, man. I can't I can't keep being wicked, man. I can't keep falling into that same temptation. Mm -hmm. I can't keep doing that, man. I gotta fight, I gotta, I gotta fast, I gotta repent. You know, because the Lord gave us tools, man. Jake just rather don't do it up he, at, at all. Jake just rather give up, man. So they're going to, they're going to, they're going to, hey, you got it, bro. We're going to let the scripture speak, man. Yeah, ultimately, they don't believe, you know. Right. <clears throat> what the scripture they, they mouth, they, they, they say they believe, but in their they work, they, love. Yeah, with their work, they deny him. Right. Mm -hmm. You got it, though, brother. Second edges nine and nine. It says they shall then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully mm. shall dwell in torment. Hey, so, this, oh, I was gotta, gonna say uh, what the scripture say. He 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 that despiseth the word shall be shall destroyed. Be destroyed. Huh? Right. But he that feareth the commandments mm -hmm. shall be rewarded. Right. Mm -hmm. Everybody that, that fan their hand at this word, bro, come against the men of the Lord. I ain't going to say no names, but we see what's happening to a certain somebody. Right. That came against the men of the Lord, that mocked them, that accused them. Now look what's going on with him, man. Oh, how yeah. did you return? Oh, and it's a fearful uh, thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. Right. The Lord don't play about his, bro. And we see it. We see it, bro. You know that hey that 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 hey that boosts our faith to keep us going. Mm -hmm. You know, seeing things happen to different people who came against us. You know, which hey hey it's you know, you know we we jake so sometimes we you know if something happened to certain people we ain't just 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 happy as hell. But hey, they they came against the, the men of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. So they yeah. gotta suffer. They gotta suffer the consequences, man. That's right. Hey, we do the work. We do the work. We believe in the Lord. We call on the Lord. We cry on to the Lord. We praise the Lord, bro, in his true names. Mm -hmm. That's dangerous for anybody to come against us or to, to say something out the way to us, man. Right. Which will have mercy on them, but the most high may not have mercy, man. It could yeah. allow something terrifying to happen to them, man. 
Mm-hmm. That's the spirit. That's what I was just about to say. Hey, people take that that scripture loosely, man. Hey, the scripture say, touch not my prophet, touch not my anointing, do my prophet no harm. That ain't just physically, you know, that's verbally what you say to the prophets, how you talk to the Lord, man. You know, hey, the Lord always watching, man. And you don't know what something, and we say it all the time, you don't know what a, a, a particular man mean to the Lord. You don't know who we are through the spirit. Right. You see? You got it, brother. Hey, Con, this is Second Edges 9 and 10. It says, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. It says, and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. And it made me think about um, St. John 15 and 22. Um, but uh, it's no cloak for your sin, man, because mm -hmm. you can't say the Lord wasn't merciful, right? You know, the Lord, not to get off subject, the Lord even showing mercy to Esau, you know, a in a sense, you know, because he uh, ultimately he's gonna get taken down. But look at what uh, the Lord is allowing our people, you know, a hey, all this time you got in this grace period to come back and repent, do something that that's not even grievous, bro. This ain't even hard to do. You know, our people just so far gone with their stiff neckness. They so hard headed and their heart are far away from the Lord, bro. Like everybody's all about their damn self, you know? But um, finishing off. It, it, especially like that video uh, one of y'all brothers put in the chat with that damn girl. The nigga was paying her bills. And, um, um, oh, yeah, come I had told her that earlier, yeah. And then, and then she gonna say she want more. She dressed like a, a thought. Like that man, ain't enough for her. Yeah, pr people proud as hell, bro. Right, yeah. Yeah. for themselves. Yeah. Here she got her a good man working a nine to five, paying all the bills, ta hey, taking care of her, and, and that ain't enough. Right. She gonna go blow somebody else right, but these niggas is simps too. Yeah, kind. So if a, one, a woman want to go, bro, let her fucking go, man. That's right. Let her go. We don't need women, bro. They need us. Right. We the prize, man. We out there diligently doing the will of the Lord, bro. <laughs> hey, the scriptures say, I, um, if I may add, um, the man wasn't created for the woman. Right. You know? Right. So what the fuck I got? I, I, I ain't, I'm, not, I'm not here to please you. Right. You please me. You supposed to be pleasing me. That's that's what's gonna happen during Jacob's trouble. What Isaiah <laughs> four one said. Yeah. Yeah. They, take, they take away my uh, reproach. reproach. Hey. Yeah. hey, so a man as the scripture say a man shall be more precious than fine gold. That's mm -hmm. a right. Mm -hmm. That's why man, hey, you gotta be men in your household. Don't give a fuck if the woman leave you or not, yo. What's not meant is just not meant. What's meant is meant. Because mm -hmm. these women want to see when all hell break loose, yo. I don't fucking need you. You need me. And that's real, yo. Okay. Everybody about to be in for a rude yeah, awakening. Yeah, and the right. scripture says slay utterly old and yeah. young. Made little children, women. Beautiful women, fine women, like kids, of right. elderly. Right. Yeah, Lord, and the respect of you. Yeah, okay. You got to do something. Yeah, yeah, I was going to add a quick precept just to um, oh. tie in with what our brothers just said. This is Luke 12 and 40. It says, Be ye therefore ready also mm -hmm. for the Son of Man, which is Yahweh Shai, cometh at an hour when you think not. Mm hmm. You right, know, we gotta be ready. Yeah, we might lose our families. Right, we might lose our own life, man. Are you willing? Are you are you ready to lay your life down? Right, but it's true. But it's for, for brethren. Right, hey, to save your own life. Right, yep. because at the end of the day, our life is in in the hands of the Lord. Hey, this place is gonna be on its way out. And we see yep. it. Hey, the, the, the money is crumbling like that. The video the brother put in. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So, hey. so, um, class these twins, yeah, they, that petrol dollar about to be dethroned, right? And that's mm -hmm. going to cause a lot of things to happen in our day to day lives. It's Chaos change mm -hmm. drastically. You're not going to be able to, hey, at that point, your credit card, your bank account, everything that you've been saving is gone, right? 401k okay. gone. 
You got niggas that they, they whole life depend on that. For oh that, yeah, kind. Well, they had to take out of the insurance policy, right? So they could, so they won't have to pay the penalty. It's no, that's why the scriptures say, "Set not your treasures upon earth." Because the right. Lord take care of us, yo. Yeah, He bless us in ways unimaginable. Right. You may be short on rent, short right. on light bill, and you've been working hard, but just and we in hell. And the most high bless you out of nowhere. Right. Hey, kind. That's to take care of business. Right. So and like, that's what you're supposed to really value. Not, right. uh, not only the fact you're supposed to be grateful for that the Lord came through for, for that time, but the fact that the Lord can come through, that yeah. you should harness more in, because that's what's going to take you through, through the times to come. Isaiah mm -hmm. 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. Right. The wisdom of what? These scriptures and knowledge of knowing who what? The most high and his power. Mm -hmm. That's that trust that we're gonna need to have in the Lord in the times to come, knowing that the Lord is capable to deliver out of any situation. Right. Because hey, hey, that's why the scriptures say, "Depart for this is not your right." We got to detect from these houses, these cars, these phones, right. the jobs, my livelihood, things that we do on a day to day. Right. Because mm -hmm. hey, as the scriptures say, "In those evils, be as what pilgrims mm -hmm. on the earth." Right, a right. Pilgrim don't have no dwelling place. A pilgrim don't know when his food gonna come. We really never scared. comfortable. That's yeah. why the scriptures say, "If I can say, I'm to be straight to the point." It say, "Even the fowls of the air, for they toil not, but yet the most high feet of them. How much more greater are ye than they, O ye of little faith?" Right, King. Mm -hmm. Hey, remember Lot's wife. You can't get caught up in the affairs of this world or the things that we have that the Most High gave us. And <laughs> yeah, he gave us shit, he can take it, man. Mm -hmm. he gave it to us yeah. for a season, man. And the Lord is merciful as hell, bro. He'll let you live de decent hey, hey, until he's ready to take it from you, man. Yep. So yeah, you can't great. say that, hey, he ain't merciful, man. Mm -hmm. He'll give you whatever you ask him for, man. But you shouldn't be asking for carnal shit anyway. We supposed to be asking for spiritual things, man, because this carnal shit is about to pass it away. Mm -hmm. Saying this world pass it away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, abideth forever, man. And that's what we trying to, we, we, hey, that's what we hoping for. That's what we banking on, everlasting life. That's why we go out week in and week out. That's why we do these videos on to edification for the elect, man. And that's why we thus fight throughout our day to day to, to keep these laws, fetching the commandments to the best of our abilities, man. No matter what we're going through, man. No matter if we lose whatever. No matter if we lose our job because of our appearance and our beards. Yeah. And no. you know, we're also going to lose a job regardless because the scriptures say, and there shall be no more work in Egypt. Right. Business right. shall fail, the gather shall not come. Yep. And the grinding shall be, it shall cease, man. So, and we got to let these things go because to be able to work or to have some sense of normalcy in the time to come, you're going to have to take the MOTB. Right. Ultimately, yep. Ultimately. Just like these niggas took that um, jab, juiced up. Yep. Niggas got that jungle juice, that Kool Aid. Right. Lack of faith, man. Yep. Just to keep a job. Right. A little pressure, man. Right. And it's going to say, kind of not strange of the fiery trial, which is to try you. Right. Those things, this is really a test of the Heavenly Father to see if you really believe. Ultimately. And these, and these prophets, hey, um, brothers quoting those scriptures, these are prophets that told us, you know, how to maneuver and how to depend on, because, hey, King David, I think that's King David in the book of Psalms, said, my help coming from on high. Right. You know, so hey, we it's beautiful things in the scriptures, also as bitter too. You know, so we know Jacob trouble coming, but we have a guide also. We just and gotta the, believe and trust that. And the scriptures say we gotta take up off, take up, take up of our cross, man, mm -hmm. and bear the indignation of the Lord, man. We gotta bear this shit. Yeah, kind, bro. But the Lord gave us hell of examples, bro. If we just hold fast. That's why the scriptures say, hold fast to which thou has, mm -hmm. that no man take thine crown, man. Mm -hmm. We got to hold fast to this, this this precious, precious, precious word that the Most High has um, uh, trusted us with. And we was just speaking about this. And the Lord say, I, I have um, trusted you in, in little, 
if he if he gave you little and and and, and he trusted in you and you um right he said for um I have um gave, gave trusted you with a few things be ruler over ten cities right mm. yeah beautiful that kind mm. man. <laughs> yeah that's beautiful man okay the most I trusting in us right now bro. And we, we came back to him. We praised him. We called him on our power, which is a beautiful thing because we've been lost in the motherfucking sauce, man. Okay. Most High has allowed us to come back and have his true names, man, and to call on to ask for aid. Hey, put it in his lap. Yep. Hey, that's what he said. Put it in my lap, man. We put our, our burdens in the Lord's lap and, and trust and believe he handled it, man. <laughs> he right, don't play no games, yo. He created it. Right, and that's the that's the spirit though, bro. Because that's Psalms fifty five. Um, cast thy burdens upon the Lord, and He shall sustain thee. You go into that word sustain. It's a couple synonyms. You go into aid, support, mm -hmm. assistance. Yeah, you know, we have that power, man. You know, you have it, bro. It's, and what the scripture say? The name of the Lord is a strong tower, mm -hmm. and the righteous run into it and are safe. Mm -hmm. The Lord is basically refuge. Right. Yep. Safety. Yep. A covering, yeah, <laughs> shelter, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk in a weary land, right? I got a couple quick precepts. Okay, that was it on, on yours, how my young? Oh, yeah, the spirit went somewhere else, but um, second edge of nine, Salaki, bro. Uh, finishing out verse 11, it said, When it, when yet a place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. It says the same must know it after death by pain, and these are the words of a prophet. So you've been warned, hey, you you you're not going to go unpunished for being wicked to y'all by shot. Right, and, and like I said, we seeing that we seeing a we seeing a a, a inkling of that, mm -hmm. and which we hey, the most high is a great and terrible power, they, and the most high just getting started. Beginning of sorrow, yeah, kind. Yeah. And that, that goes to a lot of guys and hey, all you guys that have made threats that came against the men of the Lord, that, that um, persecuted the men of the Lord, false accusations, false witnesses. Right. Hey, those are things that the Lord hates, man. Mm -hmm. and you got a lot of guys out there doing that. Speaking lies. Yeah, kind. The most I ain't playing, man. Hey, like the brother said, a lot of you guys going to know death by pain, man. Oh, no? Because y'all ain't sincere. Y'all don't truly believe in the Lord. A lot of guys in this thing for clout or whatever the case might be, man. But the most I, he about to turn up, man, and let Esau come down with it. Hey, to see who really believes. You got it, Corner Wolf. Right, this is Second Chronicles 36 and 15 through 17. It says, And the Lord, Yahweh, power of their father, sent to them by his messengers, rising up be times and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. Which is speaking about Israel. You got it all. You want to say something? No, no, no. He said he's always sent his servants, the prophets, rising up be time, even from the beginning. Okay. Right? He, he, even in the garden, it would have said in the cool of the day, and yeah. they heard the voice of the Lord. The prophets yeah. always been a doing what they were set up to do, a to approve and review, to instruct, a to say before the things that were going to happen, whether they were good, whether they were evil, man. Right. That's right. Right? Hey, hey, whoever resisted the Lord's will. But you got it, though, brother. Hey, this ain't nothing new. You got it. Hey, that's why the scriptures say, um, eat, eat the whole road. Yep. Everything ain't gonna be sweet all the time, bro. If you truly believe in the Lord, hey, look at the, the, the look at the men of the Lord when you just reading the scriptures. Men, hey, the men of the Lord always got persecuted, beat, put to death. Put to death. You know, a hey, a hey, um Put in jail, yeah. You know, son, always hey, hey, hey. It. yeah, be, yeah, kind, yeah. Hey, but it, it's all good though, cause it all that ain't gonna go down like that. This this go round, man. That's right. Cause this the end all be all. That's why we gotta hold fast. While niggas bitching up, mm -hmm. getting scared. Cause right. this is a lot of niggas getting scared. Okay. They bugging out. 
you ain't gonna feel good all the time and, and it's true bro right you gonna feel weird sometimes <laughs> yeah. you gonna feel funny sometimes man right that's why the script said what lean not into that own, own understanding, understanding. That's yeah. right. <laughs> hey, it's, it's part of the battle so yeah. like, i just got it man Oh yeah, so like it, bro. I was just gonna add, Baba Kasha. The scriptures say, um, oh, "The course. spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak." Right. You know, so, yeah, hey, you ain't. You gonna have a day. You gonna. You feel like you don't know if you going to come. Right. But that's that when the Lord wants you to cleave unto Him. Right. You know? Hey, cause He putting that feeling on you, man. So mm -hmm. you can cleave onto Him. Yeah. He making you feel like that, so you can call on Him, man. <laughs> so you can beg to Him. Hey, to have mercy upon you. Hey, just, just, hey, just, just tell him to hurry up and take this place out. That's right. So, lot like, you got a corner walk, and, and then you, uh, you can go at the um, corner walk, Kion, when that brother get finished. It uh, says, uh, verse sixteen, but they mock the messengers of Yahweh and despise his words <laughs> and misuse his prophets. <laughs> Until the wrath of the Lord Yahweh arose against his people, till there was no remedy. Mm. And if I could just speak on it, hey, you you, you see Jake, hey, he doing that today. You know, like the brother saying, the Lord got the prophets out here, and Jake misusing the prophets, man. You right. know, they walking past camp, you know, looking at us as we just like a just a spectacle, like we just, you know, these weird old men with these garments on. You know, like we ain't talking about nothing. But ultimately, we, we, we are telling you about your salvation, right. your way out, your escape, your escape plan to, to getting up out of the destruction, which the Lord about to bring and telling you that the Lord is the only way out. You see, but they misusing that, you know, and they, 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 um, they watching these videos and entertainment, you know, they coming in the truth for the wrong reasons, hey, you know, what, what you have to say, labor not for the meat that perishes. A lot of people come around because they think this thing is a barbecue or a cookout <laughs> or a hangout spot or yeah. bad. Or they only want to hear the you know, Lord speak about sweet things. What is it to say? Hey, speak to me what? Smooth things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. They don't want to hear about the end. They just want to hear about their liberties that they have so they can use this truth as an occasion to the flesh. Right. Mm -hmm. Guys that's doing that. And the most I gonna get up and the most I gonna get your ass, bro. We've seen it time time and time again. Right. Yep. Just men that ain't right. And, and that goes to say if I ain't right, right. And the most I get rid of me quick, fast, in a hurry, bro. And it's good to say all things are lawful but and expedient. Hey, right now the main focus is, is about repenting and salvation and getting ready to meet our Lord. Right. Some things ain't even needful to even be uh, uh, entertained in the chain because hey, the time ain't appropriate, man. <laughs> we ain't in our kingdom. But that's our only thing that Jake focuses on. You see? Yep. You got it, brother. Hey, verse 17, it says, Therefore, he brought upon them the king of the Chaldees who slew their young men with the sword in the house of their sanctuary and had no compassion upon young man or maiden, old man, or him that stooped for age. He yes. gave them all into his hand. And see, and I was just going to say, and see, that's what the Lord about to do right now, because we know that the Hey, the modern dairy, the modern Chaldees, what the Chaldees is Esau, even the so-called white man. The Lord is about to give two thirds of our people over to these Edomites again, man. Well, like we were, like we know um, Ezekiel nine, where he ain't gonna slay utterly old, young, you know, because you got old school Jakes that's out here that that be that be scoffing, talking shit, you know, that they 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 so caught up in Christianity that they that they can't even you know fathom this being the truth. You know, they so they so um indoctrinated with that plantation Christianity, you see, that you can't tell them nothing. So the Lord, like, like, like brother said earlier, the Lord ain't a respect of a person, man. Right. You see, the Lord don't care about you being old or elderly or being a young child or none of that, man. If you ain't right, hey, the Lord gonna smoke your ass, man. Right. And the Lord don't play, bro. And and, and we can't forget that and, and the scriptures say whoever perished being innocent. That's right. Hey, hey, the scriptures say we come back every three or four generations, man. Right. So we already been here before. Under the sun is the place of what? Judgment. Judgment. Yeah. 
Hey, so hey, that's why brothers, hey, hey, brothers, you few sisters that watch, hey, you have to always repent, man, for the things that you did, not only in this life, but your past lives as well, man. Because we don't know what we did, man. You know, and in this life, you know, because we screw up, man. We in the flesh and we subject to sin, but we got repentance, and the Lord knows who's sincere and who's not. It's all about being sincere, man. Hey, which hey, I, hey, 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 I go into sincereness um, all the time, man. Hey, being sincere, being truthful, you know, not being no hypocrite. Hey, because I was just, um, me and the brother was speaking earlier, and I went into the um, parable about the man that came, they sold a, um, an axe when they sold their um, um, land. lands. Did it cast in one, um, one purse? Right. And then, and then, it, uh, they uh, had it, us on the money bill. Yeah, they uh, a, a man a man got put to death right there on the spot because he held some money back and he wasn't being sincere, like he was trying to get over on the spirit. And it said he dropped dead, and like the Lord took him out and his wife. That's why we got to be sincere in this thing. Because if you if you if you a hey, you trying to be wicked or, or you ain't sincere, the Most High can hey, if you ain't. If the most I want to take you out right then and there, he will, man. That's scary, man. That that brings fear to my heart. I got that account too, brother. Con, you can you it's it's the um, account of Ananias Ananias and Sapphira. That's right. That, that, yeah, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Ananias, yep. Yeah, yeah. Just hold your room read through real quick, brother. You got it. This on uh, Acts 5 and 1. It said, But a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira, his wife, showed a position and kept back part of the price, mm. right? And that makes you think about it, it was an ex of disciples, and this could be something that's coming to the time now. Well, we might have to all cast in one person could have come and crashed down however the Lord may have it, man. That's right, bro. But we gotta stick together and trust one another, right? Right. He says and his wife also being and, and if I can say that was a beautiful example you made. Hey, um, and we see the money is going down, mm -hmm. and that can be a test for us. Are you are you ready to to lay down your life or sacrifice for a brother? You got a wife and kids at home. Your wife like nah, nah. Why you why you gotta here. get up? Yeah 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 yeah. Shit like that. Damn. Why you gotta get up? Uh, uh, all right. that money. We already we don't got nothing as it is. Right. And shit about to get real, man. We about to be tested, bro. The scripture said, "Birth a brother is known the day of adversity." Hey, what the scripture say? Um, uh, um. Uh, um, no better love than a, a man, brother. Lay man, down, lay down the life for your brother. brother. God, most high about to try us, bro. Yeah. It says, um, and his wife also being privy to it, brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why have Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Spirit mm. to keep back part of the price of the land? Hey, Satan entered into him, man, to do that. That's why, hey, brothers, y'all having wicked thoughts or whatever like that, hey, re hey repent and, and, and ask, hey, go on a fast and ask the most high to forgive you. Hey, because hey, Satan constantly trying to get at us. And we got to make him, that, bro. we got to make that um the conscious decision. Just like when that uh, MOTB come. Right. But, but the most high gave us a lot of examples, man. This is an example how not to be. Right. Or this can be our very fate. You right. got it, brother. While it remained, was it not thine own? And after it was sold, was it not in thine own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? If thou hast lied unto men, mm. but unto Yahweh. Mm. And they lied on to who? Yahweh. And they lied on to the Lord, man. Right. Yahweh by Hashem Hey, hey, hey it, this thing is, is spiritual, man. You, hey, we, we in a spiritual um, um fight, man. Hey, it say whatever you do to um, you gotta to whatever you, my brother, right? Yeah, then also to me, right? So whatever you do to a brother, it's like you doing that to the Lord. That's why, hey, that's why brothers gotta be sincere, man. Hey, me myself saying this, hey, most definitely me, man. Okay. Hey, cause the Most High will fuck us up, man. And brothers, y'all brothers know, y'all y'all brothers know, y'all know what I'm talking about. No, if you ain't being sincere, what the hell will happen, man? Most high, plug you out. Okay. 
You don't even want to go out there on the highways and byways no more. You won't even have the spirit on. You won't even have the faith. And also, I'd snatch it from you, man. And bug you out, man. You'll bug us all out if we ain't right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Have a scare, oh shit, martial law might roll up on us. Esau might roll up on us and throw us in the trunk. I don't know if I want to go out there. Nah, fuck all that, bro. We got a job to do, man. We got it, buddy. It's Acts 5 and 5, and Ananias hearing these words fell down and gave up the spirit. And, and dropped dead, man. Because he wasn't sincere. The most high took the hey, and put him to death. He lied to the Lord, man. He lied to the spirit, bro. He thought he was trying. He thought he was gonna get a one up on on the spirit of on the spirit, man. Right. On the Lord. And the scripture said, "The eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times That's the spirit. Right the time, man." That's the spirit too. <laughs> Ain't nobody getting a ones up on the Lord, bro. Right. The deceit, the deceit were his. That's the spirit, though, because in that same chapter, if I may say, um. Sirach 23 and 19, but the verse above it, it said, who break up out of wetlock, what man said, um, um, his eyes compassed with darkness or whatnot, who see of me, the most I won't remember my sins. You know, hey, Jake, don't, they don't think the Lord really see them, man. Right. Or know their thoughts. Yeah, yeah. Or not even just thoughts, your intentions. Right? Yeah. But see, that, that bag up the scripture in Jeremiah, if I'm not mistaken, um, the Lord tried the reins. Yep. You know, the hearts, you know, and the heart is desperately wicked, man. Right. But you can't really trust this flesh, not to get off subject, but, you know, you got to right. really trust the Lord, bro. And that's why brothers got to be sincere with, with them dealing with anything, bro. Yeah, can. Don't do it because... You know, you've been told don't do it, but don't do it and really in your in your heart you yeah, don't want to do it. Yeah, kind. You ain't doing it. it out of sincerity. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just like the just like the account too when they was um going into the um to speak to the um uh, speak before the Lord, the altar, that account, and then you had the people that had the money. No, you had you had the, the people that was um saying, Yeah, Lord, uh, uh, I come to you know, I come serve you. All the time I give my offerings. And then you had the one man that told the Lord straight up, I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner, Lord. I pray that you have mercy upon me. You know, I, you know, I do all these things. I just hope that you forgive me. And then you have people justifying themselves. Like, I know I do all I can do. You know, I know I do everything for you, Lord. Like, just proud as hell, man. That's like them Christians, man. Mm -hmm. Say they say, but here you go. I've been saying 30 years, but here you go getting a ball head. Acts 5 and 5, and Ananias hearing these words, still dying to give up the spirit. And great fear came up, came on all them that heard these words. And the young men arose and wound him up and carried him out and buried him. And it was about the space of three hours after when his wife not knowing what was done, came in. And Peter answered unto her, and tell me whether you sold the land for so much. And she said, yeah, for, for so much. Mm. Then Peter said unto her, how is it that ye have agreed to tempt the spirit of the Lord? And they tempted the Lord, yo. They saw that they saw the land for so much to the point where they tried to hold back. They tried to the, the, the stash some money, bro. Right, when everybody else doing everything they had. To sustain it, and it guess what the Lord sustained them throughout that time, man. Right, right. He said, "Behold, the feet of them which have buried thy husband are at the door, and shall carry thee out." Then fell she down straightway at his feet and yielded up the ghost. And the young men came in and found her dead, and she dropped dead too. See, man, hey, it, it, it's a lot of shit that's about to go. The Most High about to see who with him. Mm -hmm. Oh, who against him, man? You're right, bro. A lot about to separate the men from the boys, bro. We entering into that time. We seeing all these military drills. What well, that that um Edomite was going into, and all these different states. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Hey, which martial law about to pop off? We seeing yeah. so much going down, bro. At the dollar, the the, the debt ratio, it, the dollar about to crash. 
Um, you name it, man. Um, um, just so much, bro. Right. The MOTB, these um, um, the, the um, the brain trip. It's a lot. Right. The grid getting hit. Grid, yeah, kind. World War Three growing up. Scripture says salvation is nearer and than what you believe, man. A robot on the street. Yeah, yep. kind. They curfew you, smart cities. The scriptures say that a man should have died to the city and yeah. should not be able, man. An army checkpoints. Right. Yeah, it is going to get ugly, bro. Like, and, hey, man, I remember I thought that in the group chat, man, when I was over there by myself, I was just thinking, like, bro, D, a hey, Jake just don't know what's going to happen, bro. You got the men of the Lord constantly, day in, day out, day in, day night, um, week in, week out. Warning you preaching the same song, telling you to repent, man. Gird up your loins, man. Come back to your power, man. Because when you got to think about this, a hey, Esau, the Lord going to put a whole nother spirit on this devil. Right. Like, he going to really show you he the devil. He going to be like a madman sparing none. Man, I've seen so many doggone tank trucks and Humvees over there, bro. I was just like, that just... That's just what they want to broadcast. Ain't no telling what else they got, you know. Right, right. Big ass and them, uh, and them, old, and them old vehicles. And them old yeah. vehicles, you know. So hey man, you gotta hey, remember hey, what I was they thinking had, too, bro. You know, years ago with them um remember those coffins? They had thousands and thousands of them black coffins ready right. to set to throw bodies in. Yep. You know. You know they 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 getting ready. They, so what you think? Then the uh, guillotines, all the guillotines, they got ready, ready to go. So yep. hey, it's gonna be a hey, black sight. Time is coming. Yep, yep, bro. Yep. Hey, for, you for say that. don't got this truth. It's gonna be hell for them. All right. right. Hey, but hey, that's why we gotta be sincere in this thing. Hey, hey, we, hey, we, hey, we really got to be about what we preaching, man. We got to apply scripture. Yeah, come on, bro. Because that time is coming. <laughs> hey, you going to be about it. You're right. going to be about what you've been preaching. If you locked up in the concentration camp and believe. Esau got you in a hot room, the room hot as a bitch, and he said you denounce your power or give up one of them brothers that, that you was with, what's their name? Right, where they live at. Are you going to fold? Are you going to break down? Are you going to trust in the Lord, man? These are things that, that, that we might we, we might be faced with. Come we in the hot room. We ain't ate in two days and Esau bring some, some swine, some, some, some a pork chop, and some bacon. We, we, we will be tested. May the Lord give, give brothers that, that warrior spirit to die for him, bro. Right, bro, because that's what it's going to come to, man. We got to know what we're involved in. And that's what we've been telling the people. So it ain't going to be no excuse for these people, man. People are going to seek to save their life in, in different situations like that, man. Right. This this, this, this how real this thing is, man. But it's better to be in this thing and go about it this way than mm -hmm. the other way, because yeah. this way we got our help. We got our source, man. He allowed us to come back, and we believe in him. That's amazing. He say all we got to do is have faith. The what? The size of the grain is the seed, right? right? And that's a small ass seed that that grow to the one the the most one of the most biggest, durable, strongest trees, man. Yep. Yeah. We gotta have that faith in your how about Shai. And, 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 and hey, that's what that's why we do these videos, man. Because it ain't gonna be no excuses for these people out here in the world, man. Niggas that came against the, the men of the Lord, they're gonna wish they never did that, man. Mm -hmm. Women that came against the men of the Lord, you're gonna wish you never did that. You know, no matter how hard it get, no matter how ugly it looked. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody's been warm, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'll the, Lord say, the Lord like say, hurt, "Hurt not the earth, neither the sea." And so, to the, the um, so probably sitting there for you, right? 
And then it's going down, bro. And it looked like, hey, the, 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 they look like they the servants are about sealed, man. Mm -hmm. uh, the things that we see going on the earth that has never happened before. Okay. It's a lot, Cornwall. You got it, brother. Nah, you all good, bro. Nah, that's that my fault. So like, nah, I just was trying to add to a point where y'all was speaking about sincerity because it had came across my mind just a, 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 a account similar to what y'all brought out, which really I just quote the account with um in Joshua with Akon, you know, the dude that um held back that silver. Yeah, that held back that silver and um he covered it, you know, and he tried to hide that silver in his tent, you know. It was a it was yeah, a yeah. cursed thing unto mm -hmm. Israel and the Lord. Hey, hey, they 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 called him out and guess what, bro? The um the Lord called him out and I think his, his children He's and all, and all his sheep, his cattle and stuff and and get and they stoned him to death and burnt their ass with fire, man. Right. He wants to see. And it just made me think about that. Yeah, they stoned him to death. They stoned him to death and then burnt them with fire. They stoned him was a terrifying ass death back in the day. Mm -hmm. like painful slow yeah, Big painful. ass boulders. big them big boulders. Like my grandma used to have some like a row of them sits at her house. And they, they pretty nice size, kind of heavy. <laughs> and it was the ancient yeah. world, so shit was way bigger. It won't no low. Oh, okay. And Jake probably thinking about a little rock. It was about the size of a brick. Right. Motherfuckers, hey, hey. And, and everybody was throwing them shit. This ain't mm -hmm. the whole city. The whole city uh, used to come down to stone and shit. Yeah. Hey, so really what I get out of that about the sincerity part, if you ain't sincere, it's ultimately going to lead to death. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, you saw it. Hey, uh, oh, Ananias. Mm -hmm. He dropped dead, man. Him and his wife. And his wife, man. See, that's why. Hey, hey, that's order, bro. If the man ain't right, the woman ain't gonna be right because the man is the head. That's right. The woman's given to a portion of a wicked man. Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, so if the if, if the man ain't right, hey, the woman ain't gonna be right, man. She ain't gonna be in order. Are the most if, if the man is right, the most high. Uh, uh, if a woman ain't right, he gonna get away from you, man. And vice versa, right? Just like with Abigail. Well, now I think it was King David when that one man didn't want to. Uh, I think what it was in the bit, and he didn't want to feed King David servants, and and the wife would came and brought gifts, and the Lord ended up putting the bit to death, and, and his wife became King David's wife. So it's vice versa, man. If you ain't right. Hey, the Lord going to seek you out, man. Right. Simple and plain. You secretly don't believe. Hey, because the, the, the believers, they're going to they gonna stand out, man. Hey, which, hey, just just because a man a man is um is a believer in the Lord, you're going to screw up, bro. Just because you screw up don't mean that you ain't a believer. It's, it's, it's numerous accounts of men that screwed up badly. Mm -hmm. And they said the Most High still had mercy. Why? Because they was men after the Lord heart, and they repented, and they kept fighting, man. Right. They ain't just give up. Right. And they took whatever the Lord brought upon them for for messing up. And, and yep. the scripture say the Lord gonna have mercy on whom He gonna have mercy. And look yep. at Paul. <laughs> right. Look at Paul. The Lord said He was gonna make Paul suffer, but um, He had to suffer the the, the um. Mm -hmm. The, the chastening of the Lord. The chastening of the Lord for, for the coming thing. against the Lord. Right. For all the stuff that he did. Putting it, putting it on. Yeah. And many other believers to do. Yep. Right. He went through hell, bro. Hell and back. Yep. But he endured, bro, because he believed, man. And we got to take up our cross. Yep. To bear our cross, man. And I think that was Apostle Paul who said, um, a lot of people, roughly paraphrasing, have became enemies of the cross of Yahweh Shai. Right, right, because they going through some little bitch ass shit. Our shit ain't how they think it to, right. thinking it to be, man. Right. If you feeling like that now, you ain't gonna make it through trouble trouble because ain't nothing gonna be how you think it gonna be. Right. Uh -huh. This whole world gonna be upside down, man. Truth said, dead body shall lie in the street as dumb. Yep. And yeah. like, like that video. Uh, <laughs> The brother putting that, putting the chat on that cop. Oh yeah, that shit had me rolling this morning, bro. <laughs> hey, that nigga's gonna be scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That nigga got, that nigga got up out of there. I heard that scream. 
That nigga had to take out of there. Trouble was there, boy. Jake gonna be spooked out of there. But now nah, you know what? They also think about what brothers say all the time, man. When all hell break loose, these police officers ain't coming to save you. They gonna be scared, man. Right. He got good and flat light on. Yeah, they gonna be an uprising because the scriptures say the course of their action should stand their power, man. Right. Yep. And these people gonna realize that their government actually uh, is coming against them. Yeah. It's against them. Yep. You're right, though. Mm-hmm. Hey, I got a quick precept, Baba Kasha, if I can. Yeah, I bring one out for you. This is um Ezekiel two. Yeah. Ezekiel two and verse five. Just start at verse one, bro, and go to five. Bring out that. Okay, fine. Yeah, close it out with your other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Ezekiel 2 and verse 1. It says, And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. Verse 2, And the Spirit answered unto me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me, in which the Spirit is talking about the Holy Spirit, the Rokakodash. You know? And which the spirit is speaking in on to us, and we standing upon our feet, man. Right. Which causes us to go out there and preach. Right. And we're not preaching our words, we're preaching the words of the Lord, bro. He told us, he sent us out there to go on uh, speak these words on to the people. You got it, bro. Hey, hey and, Bob- and to give them that warning. So yep. watch, you got it. Now I'm just gonna say in Bible Kashar, if I can add, that's why the scriptures say that the natural man can't receive the spirit, you know, because they spiritually discern because. What our people fail to realize, you know, the, the spiritual aspect in this, the fact that the Lord put his spirit on men to prophesy and speak these words, you know, that it really ain't of us, that it's really of the Lord. But they can't see that because they looking they at blinded. it for face value. Yeah, they're blinded. Right. And the Lord got angels out here that's blocking people from getting to understand it. And the Lord got angels out here ministering unto men to get the understanding. Never give right. angels. Well, who came to Idris and, and told Miriam. him to right. and, 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 and told him to fast and afflict his soul? Yep. And that angel came and expounded upon those things upon him, man. We got angels in our ministry to us and put in our minds what we're gonna say, what we're gonna think, man. Right? Mm-hmm. What's the They're ministering spirits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's, it's vice versa. Hey, the most I got some that he eyes that he don't have clothes and gave him the spirit of slumber because he don't want to heal them, man. And we've been telling the people that. Right, and guess what? It still ain't gonna be no excuse because at the scripture say, "Hey, the most high is only coming for that remnant, man." You read that. See a lot of so a lot of Israelites don't believe that because they think that the Lord wouldn't do nothing like that. They said right, but they they, they the Lord, man. Right, they yeah. don't know the most high. Right, right. Well, right. And so the scriptures they're not scriptures. knowing the scriptures. And the scriptures say it pleased him to bruise his son. Right. Motherfuckers will hear that and be like, they'd be, they be thrown off, be bugged out. Like, right. what? Well, then he killed. He, he killed. He bruised his son. Yeah, right. kind. Right. Well, that he he created Satan. <laughs> this, this, hey, that's why the scripture said, wisdom too high for a fool, man. Yep. yep. That's why the scripture said, go from the presence of a foolish man when thou perceives not the um, lips of knowledge in him, man. Mm-hmm. We ain't out here to bend over backwards to make you niggas get it, man. Right. Yeah, and, and the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. But the righteous shall understand. The lit gonna get it. Right. That's right. That's, yeah, all, that's, that's the all the way we're concerned with, man. Mm-hmm. Working out our own salvation. You got it, brother. Verse three, and he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, right, to a rebellious nation. Right. Mm. That that's who we're building the most against. It. The, the the truth for them. The salvation is for them, not for nobody else. The Lord only been sent it. That's an easy, that's the old testament, man. That's Amos. Right. Where you only have on no, no, the family of the earth. Right. So that the Lord always saying, Hey, this is a rebellious people. Why? Because they were rebelling against the instruction. Mm-hmm. Right. And we know rebellion is what? It has a sin of witchcraft, and the Lord ain't gonna suffer with you live. Because that's the vibration that two thirds of our people are coming under, man. They're a bunch right. of witches. Right. Hey, hey, you owe your father the devil. You got it. It says they have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me mm. even unto this day. They hey, slight like even unto this very day. Hey, slate uh, utterly old and young. That's why the Lord ain't gonna have hey, hey his eyes is not gonna pity in that day because he know that spirit. Regardless, sweet auntie Grammy 
who cooked the best on uh, 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 collard greens on Sunday, man. The Lord don't give a damn about that, man. Right. And the scripture say, ain't no man going to be able to redeem his brother. You ain't going to be able to offer up a the Lord a ransom in that day to be able to save your soul. When the Lord called the spirit, it's going to be time to go, man. Right. Uh, hey, the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Hey, nobody ain't bullshit no more. The Lord is tired of, hey, the Lord is fed up with this place. And he said, my, my I will not hold my mouth for touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Right. The, Lord, the scripture says he's about to uh, visit the world in which he made. So we're going to see more uh, 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 miraculous things and terrible things happen on the earth that's going to be outside the realm of understanding except we know because we're in the truth that it's the most high, bro. You think that lightning strike that happened at that church? That's just the beginning of what the most high about to do. We finna really see why they call him Allah Shadrach. Yep. Terrible demon like power. You think that screen with that that cop, what he saw, that ain't nothing with the most high. The, the scripture said there's spirits created for vengeance. The Lord is finna really open up at his 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 Pandora box of destruction. He about to unleash, man. And he said he he, he gonna go all in because he said time like never before. Yeah. You had some more on that corner waffle. That was it. Yeah. It's two more verses. Um, right. Verse four and five. This is verse four. It says, for they are impudent children right. and stiff hearted. Right. I do. You, you, stubborn as hell, man. Stubborn as hell. you can tell Jake. Hey, don't go. Don't don't touch the stove. Don't, you know, don't touch the stove. And they're going to do it. Drive my car straight to the store. And and come back. back. But Jake ain't going to do that. Jake got to find out the hard way. And that's why hey, a lot of our people are gonna perish in this time. And we just hey, we understand that we have accepted it. There are many that more that shall perish than that shall be saved, man. You got it, brother. It says, I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus thus saith the Lord power. Mm -hmm. See, letting you know that this is the Lord's word. Right. Keep going. It's, it says, verse five, and they, whether they will hear. Right. Or whether they will forbear, whether you are listening or not, and mm -hmm. hey, whether Sony not believe, hey, 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 don't we see the CBDC coming, which is going to lead to the MOTB? Ain't we still hearing wars and women's wars? Hey, ain't it still up, up, up earthquakes in diverse places? Ain't these right. things still going on, whether people believe or not? Let so, the weak, let the weak sound strong. All these nations hey, gathering up against Babylon, them. right? Hey, we seeing these things, whether hey, when he, when that when that young lady came and bent her funky stuff over, Ugh, that it, when you, like that don't even matter. These things that people do on a day to day basis, whether they believe or not, whether they take heed to the correction or not, these prophecies are still coming. Matter of fact, they're actually being sped up for the elect. Right. Yep. So hey, when that destruction hit, hey, that's why the Lord said they should call upon me, but I'm not going to hear them. Desire. Yep. You got it, brother. It says, for they are a rebellious house, mm. yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. Right. right. Hey, that's when they're going to realize, oh, uh, man, how we err from the way of understanding. How, how, how are they knowing them on the saints? That's what Jake going to be looking up. Because Jake, two-thirds, our enemies as well. Exactly. Right, because they could the scripture says friendship of the world is enmity with the heavenly father, man. Right. Jake yeah. wanna stay here, they want to go back to Egypt, they don't want to see this place destroyed, man. Jake wanna stay hey, here. Hey, if I might can bring out this uh it's a little definition um of basically what we we gotta do right now is um it, it's it's called it's a, a saying called total line. It means to conform rigorously to a rule or standard. And that's what we got to live by right now. The uh, standard of righteousness until Yahabah Shema Rashad hey, delivers us, if, you know, if we, we of the elect. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got a preacher, Kaya? Oh, no, that was, uh, matter of fact, I can, I'll bring out this one. This is um, Philippine, Philippines 1. Philippines 1 and 9 and it reads this I pray that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment that ye may approve things that are excellent that ye may be sincere 
and without offense to the mm. day of a Mashiach. And like brother always say, man, hey, we gotta be sincere and, and, and know what we involved in and know what we, you know, what we're, yeah, what we, uh, you know, how precious and how real this truth is, man. We gotta know what we involved in and be sincere and know that we're gonna have adversity, adversity, I mean, you know, that come at us, you know, in the time right, of the come. And too, that's why our apostle elders go through hard and about this doctrine so that we can be presented as a chaste virgin without splat of blemish. Because guess what? I, I, the husbandman is on the way back. And they always speak about um, the um, temptation that's coming. Right. Because they went through a form of temptation that was a, a big thing. And they, they passed it. So they, they always tell us to just keep the faith in the Lord. Because... This this time is coming. It's gonna be a little. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be challenging. More worse. Yeah, yep, like a time like never before. Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, you gonna maintain your integrity in the Lord? Right. Are you gonna fold, man? Hey, hey what the parable of the sword see? Songs still uh fell upon stony ground. They should just say uh, those that fell upon stony ground. They didn't have much dip in them. So when affliction and persecution came, they wasn't mm. grounded and rooted, and they fell away. Mm. See, yep. and, and we don't want to be like that, man. <laughs> and that those that fell upon stone ground, they had it for a while. But when our hell started breaking, <laughs> some, some hell got put on them. They jumped. Okay, the word. Yeah, they, they they got they got offended. Yep. And like a lot of people gonna turn back when Esau rolled, man. A lot of people gonna denounce that they Israelites and marvel not, man. Marvel not. Hey, don't be surprised. Hey, because hey, the Lord already told us of these things. <laughs> they gonna be cool that day. That's why the scriptures say, "Hey, um, then it's Revelation uh, two ten. Remember uh -huh. those things that thou shalt suffer. Right. For behold, the, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried ten days. Mm -hmm. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Right. Hey, fuck this shit, man." What, what what else we got? What we holding on to, brothers? What we holding on to, man? What we got, really? It's filth here. What like, thought we holding on you to? You want to hurt you 65 and high and barely yeah. have enough money to enjoy and soon you enjoy, you pass away the next year? Oh, your back broke down, your disc slipped. Your slipping. knees slipped. Yeah. Your teeth you falling can't out. Can't even Right. Working for things that we never go on. Right. Come on, man. This ain't life. Hey, it's really distracting for a new man. heavens and a new earth where the world of righteousness, man. Right. You see, it, hey, this is part of that straight gate, man. That part of that fight. Hey, however, what we gonna get it? Hey, some men ain't ain't gonna taste death. Hey, even those that have to taste death, man, the Lord say, I'm gonna be with you even until the end, man. And hey, we never alone, bro. Never. And right. who are, and who are the men that meant to go through that or women, because women ain't exempt. Hey right. brother, hey, the Lord gonna put the spirit on you to go through that. That you were meant to go through that. You see, so don't hey, don't even trip, man. Because at the end of the day, we just want to hear thou good and faithful sir. However it go, bro. The scriptures say uh, the dead in your house shall rise first, man. That's comforting to us that our labors ain't gonna be in vain. Whether we live or whether we die, we still belong to the Lord. Right. Yeah. And, and it, it ain't it ain't really dying. It ain't dying. It's, it's, it's uh, resting. Transitioning. Right. That's it. And that's what the Lord uh, said about the little uh, about the little girl. Okay. She said she sleep. Mm -hmm. They laughed and shit. Wicked ass niggas, man. Laughing and shit. Thought that shit was funny, man. That's why the most I told them to get the fuck out, man. Right. Motherfuckers don't believe, bro. Hey, we believe. Lord gonna take care of us, man. And we gotta believe that. We have to believe in Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, man. He ain't give us this faith for no reason. Right. We ain't out there in the highways and byways for no reason. We believe, man. We show that faith. We don't repent for no reason. We don't hit the knees for no reason. Right. We don't go throughout our day to day praying to the Lord for no reason. We ain't doing this right. for no reason, man. We doing this for a reason because we believe and we hoping that the Most High have mercy on us so that we can be saved out of whatever the fuck we gotta go through. Because we about to go through it, man. Okay. But the Most High gonna get us through it. 
Okay, what the scriptures say on um, the book of Sirach, the second chapter, they say um, about believing and trusting in the Lord and your reward shall not fail. Mm -hmm. Like you said, ain't none of this for no reason. You know, it, 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 as long as we continue to trust and believe, we know that reward coming and it ain't going to fail. You know, that's why the Lord told us, hey, to take no thought for our life, you know. Really and can't Lord, go fuck about Lord, no lie. Nope. He said he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Man. That's right. And that brother about to finish it up with this this um precept. We're gonna close out. This is thirty three and thirty. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people are still talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, "Come, I pray you, hear what is the word that cometh from the Lord." And they come unto thee as the people cometh. And they sit before thee as my people. They hear thy words, but they will not do them. Hey, because people ain't really no believers, man. They don't really believe that this place is about to be destroyed. Right. They don't really believe that the Lord is going to come back. And the Lord is show, show all type of signs, bro. Right. Jake What's the Lord showing years? us? They still think about 10 years from now. Right. Still, right. oh, yeah, I'm going to raise my kids up, and they're going to do this and do that, and I'm going to have a nice house and... We're going to do this and do that. We don't got that long, bro. Yeah. The, the scripture says salvation is nearer than when we believe. Mm. So thinking that shit going to go that far and shit. We're going to be here this amount of time. But the most high can make right. shit pop off at an instant. And we've seen that during the C-19. Think about it. Noah would have gave up. Listen to it. You just still been building, but we ain't went nowhere. And you know he was being tempted, right? Oh yeah, kind. He had to have second, well, not um, mm -hmm. just uh, second. second thoughts, but you know he probably was feeling weird. Flesh, his flesh was messing with him, yeah. right? All the people, they unbelief, they doubt. Yeah, they, 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 they talking about where, where, where the rain at? Right, right. Ain't no rain came yet. Where the rain at? You crazy, man. I keep talking about that rain. I ain't, ain't no rain coming. But, but the thing that Noah did, he blocked all that shit out and he trusted in the Lord. Just like when the Lord tell us to do something, we got to do it. Right. Just like the Lord, he told that prophet, don't stop and, and turn to the right or to the yeah, left. Yeah, I was just thinking about you, that. You remember in the Old Testament, he stopped and he got deceived by that old prophet and that lion came and ate his ass? Oh. Just because he ain't do what the Lord say, bro. That's what the Lord, hey, bro, the Lord tell you to do something, you do it, bro. To become hell or high water, bro. For good fuck with anybody say your child, your woman, hey, yo, hey, your flesh. Hey, that's why we that's why we gotta um that's why you can't um you gotta follow the spirit. The spirit warning you to get out of them. You gonna you gonna feel it, bro. You you somewhere, bro, and, and that shit ain't right. Are you just feeling funny? Get the fuck away from that, bro. If the spirit keep take, um, taking you away from a certain woman or some shit like that, just leave that shit alone, bro. You know, if, if something just don't feel right, follow the spirit. I guarantee the most I uh, deliver you, bro. That's the most I want of you. Get the fuck from over there. Get from around them niggas. Niggas wicked as hell. I'm about to bring judgment right now. And we believers in the Lord, so the Lord gonna do something to make us get get the fuck from over there, or something like that, or whatever the case might be, bro. Lord gonna send us time. Most high gonna make you feel at uh, ease. Right. He gonna get you the hell away from there. You gonna know you you gonna know that it's off. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And another another example of what you said, brother Salakia, um. Even even with Saul too, you know about not doing what the Lord said, you know that that why that's why he was stripped from position of being king. Why the Lord put an evil spirit upon him, and that can happen to hey, any of us if we ain't right. We don't do what the Lord say, but the Lord could put an evil spirit on you and bug you out. That's in the scripture. You know, not Noah, uh, um, Jonah, and that's why I should yeah. say some of you ain't gonna get nothing but the sign of Prophet Jonah. <laughs> you see, this is Ezekiel thirty three. In verse 31, and the people come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they will hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they sue much love, but their yeah. heart after their convictionness. Oh, yeah, Shalom, I believe. And you have a thumb on the coming board. <laughs> hey, wicked as hell, man. Hey, hey, not believing for real. Right. Being a nigga, man. Right. Putting on. Verse right. 32, and lo, 
Thou unto them as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice, entertainment, and can play mm. well on the instrument where they hear thy words, but they do them not. Verse 33, mm. and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. That's right. It's gonna be hey, they gonna know, bro. Hey, they had they warning. Yep. And hey, we've been warning them, man. But but hey, um, through the words of y'all by Shema This these, these words are not of us, man. This work is not of us. We didn't say that we was gonna be prophets when we turned the age 24 or 30 uh 35 or whatever, whenever you came into yeah. the truth, man. This was the last thing on, on our minds, man. You know, I, this was I, I I wasn't thinking about this. Probably didn't before even, know. I came into didn't the even know about it. I ain't know about nothing. Yeah, I ain't know about nothing. Uh, Israel, nothing. Mm -hmm. I ain't know about nothing, man. I was just a lost soul in the world, man. Being a nigger, and the most I allowed me to have this shoe, just like all of us brothers, man. I got a closing scripture. This is Jeremiah. Chapter 3, verse 14. It says, Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord. Hey, repent, man. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Which to repent means to turn, turn back from, man. Turn from your wicked ways. Mm -hmm. Come back to the Lord, man. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Call on those names, repent in those names, and be sincerely about it, man. And the most high change you, man. And, and Lord willing, you be delivered. Lord willing, we be delivered, man. Right. It says, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. Mm -hmm. So we got to repent, man. And it, the, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And we see all this um war brewing up, all this destruction. We see all this... um chaos that's about to go down right and we want to be uh protected under the shadow of the all almighty man that's right yeah how about shim outside but uh lord willing this video is edifying to the elect we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna shut it down right here man and hey, lord willing this is edifying to the elect because we give these videos for the elect you know, so with that, I want to give all praises on and glory to you. How will by show? Giving double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS, and teaching us mm. knowledge, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the hopeful like I came out there throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his word and truth and sincerity to the best of your abilities. With that, I want to say, Baba Ball, Baba Ball, Baba Ball. Shalom. 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 Shalom.